Hello, this is Mark from 2DogRC. I'm going to show you how to convert your Dual Sky Hornet with the FC450 board or 430 to the Nasa Flight Controller with GPS. Just going to add a couple more features to the Hornet, such as position hold, altitude hold, and some, uh, some just different flying characteristics. So let's get started. Here's my Nasa board. Right here, you've got a red arrow that points Nasa with a little arrow on it. And that's what's going to be pointing forward. So this goes forward. So what we need to do is remove this top lid. Just a couple of screws here. Go. All right, now we've got our receiver. And we've got this wire that comes off of three channels your throttle aileron elevator. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this off, all three of those, okay? We'll pull off our 450 because we're no longer using that. Put this over to the side, that one's done. Now if you look here, I've got my spectrum radio. You want to make sure that your aux, the wire that goes to the U on the NASA is hooked into the aux on your spectrum radio or whatever radio because that's a three position switch. Gear is a two position switch. Just a little note there. Alright, now that we've got our top off and our FC450 out of here, we just hook up our NASA. What I found out is the wires off the back of the Hornet are a little too short. So you're going to need some six inch, maybe even four inch servo leads. I got six just to have some extra room to connect it. So now what you're going to do is the multicolored wires that come off the back of the Hornet, or that little wiring plug, you're going to disconnect those from the 450, obviously. And now we're going to plug those into your NASA. I have them plugged into servo extensions and then into the NASA board. So the colors go like this. The first motor is motor 1, which in the NASA world is this motor right here. And it's the same as the dual sky number 1. So that motor is purple. So you take your purple wire, go through your servo lead, goes into motor one. Motor two is the wire that comes off the, the uh, hornet board that's got all three wires in it. It's got red, black, and the signal wire. What you need to do on this is pop this red wire out. I'm going to pop this out by using a little X-Acto knife. And just lift up on a little plastic. Or in the middle one, and then gently pull the red wire. It's kind of a little touchy, just want to be. There we go. Now, there isn't any power going into there, up on there. And then this goes into my servo extension, and this goes into motor number two. Motor number three. Oh, and by the way, motor number two is different. This is motor number two in Nasa world. So even though this says number four arm, in NASA world, this is motor number two. Motor number three is green. Take the green one, servo wire, and M3, purple, and the last one is blue. Motor number four, which is this motor. Now, don't get confused. This is motor number two, motor R number two for dual sky, but in the NASA world, uh, this is number four. You don't have to change anything else, but you just have to make sure that those go, you can't just go right from what the FC450 says into what the NASA says that won't work. The number two and the number four motors are reversed. So once you get those plugged in, then you just plug in the extensions that come with the NASA into the, the back end, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, plug those into your appropriate receiver, and then where it says EXP is where you're gonna plug in your GPS. Actually, you've got two wires off this LED thing. The big one goes in the top where it says LED, the little one that looks like a normal servo lead, that goes into X3. Um, and then the rate goes into U and into your aux. You want it to go in a three position switch. If you don't have a three position switch, you can put it in a two position switch position, like a gear, if like you have a DX, uh, I believe a six, uh, it's going at two position, but you really want a three position switch. So I have it going in my aux for my DX7. So that's uh, basically all you have to do to set it in here. And then, again, you want to make sure the arrow points forward. And, and obviously that's forward. So make sure that. And I just have it tied in there. 
And then I've got my wires come up. I've got my receiver mounted here. I put this here because you want to be able to see this LED. It's got some information as far as satellites and stuff like that. So real important that you can see that. And then what I've got going on here, I've got my GoPro mount and my here's my transmitter. I want to plug my GPS in. What I'm going to do, uh, I've been fine with the GoPro as my FPV camera. I really don't like that. It works a lot better with the secu small security cameras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my GPS a, a little bit closer. I'm going to set it onto one of these screws actually to hold it down. And I'll probably put it right there actually. I'm just going to glue it right there. And then I'm going to put my FPV camera right here and then my GoPro right there. Uh, you know, on these small little frames, you don't have much room, so that's just got to take opportunity. So I have a security camera, which will be an FPV camera, GoPro comes back, here's my video transmitter, here's my uh, GPS, and the GPS you have a little arrow. That arrow points forward, so really it goes like this. So when I have it sitting here, it's going to go that way. And that's it. Now when you go program it, you, you got to go hook all this stuff up. Make sure you take your propellers off. I have my props on here because I was actually flying this. It flies excellent. Uh, so make sure you take these off and go into the software and follow the directions that come with the NASA. It's really good. If you just read the directions, everything will work the first time. Uh, make sure all your wires are orientated properly. Here you've got the signal wire on top of my receiver. When you look down um, on your NASA board, on the motor's end, and you have the negative wire on top. So you're looking at negatives. And then on the other side, same thing. So you should see negative wires on top for all your servo leads. And that's about it. That's how I put the NASA on. Uh, I'll have some information here shortly on wiring up your the on-screen display that we use. It's a GOSD3. Very easy to use. Very accurate. So look for that video to come. But that's how you put the NASA on a Dual Sky Hornet. You'll really enjoy it. And if you got any questions, you can email us at sales at 2dogrc.com or visit our website, 2dogrc.com. Thank you.